Hey everyone. So one of the things I forgot last week was that two things were coming up. Um, Eclipse and 4th of July. So I was going to do the Titanic inspired look because I was watching Titanic. Um, but I decided that that's going to have to wait because today I want to, in honor of Eclipse, I want to do the Voltura. I thought it was called Volturi, but I was just reading the book and it was Voltura. Uh, when she first met them, um, she was, it was the pale skin and the red, red eyes with the black hair. Um, plus they wore red cloaks and in Eclipse, I think they wear black cloaks. So uh, my look is inspired by that. I've already took my lightest, lightest um, foundation from NYX. So I already put that all over. So the first thing I'm going to do is... Okay, my lid. Now this is, again, going to be a smokyish type of look. Um... Whereas the black will be on the lid. Uh, I'm going to pat that out a little bit and bring it up. I want it to be too... It's very creamy. And I'll uh, just smoke it up a little bit. So just kind of blend it upward. Um, I bought some Glamour Doll Eyes, but I only bought her black because I'm a sucker for black and I'm a sucker for glitter. She had like a whole collection of black with glitter in them and she doesn't have them anymore. So that's why I never did a review. I have no complaints um, against the quality. I don't, I, you know, I use it only when I need black. This has red shimmer in it, which, like I said, she doesn't make it anymore. The only thing is it's hard to see the glitter. And it's hard to pick up the glitter. That's why I, I, um, NYX's base is pretty sticky and it grabs on. I've used it before. So, like I said, it's kind of hard to see the glitter. And I just got this from Pure Lux. <clears throat> Avenging Angel, that one has a lot, a lot of glitter. So I'm going to combine the two and see how that works. I don't know if you can see all that red glitter in there. So I just didn't want too, too much glitter. So I like combined the two. I used uh, Glamour Doll Eyes mixed with with the Avenging Angel. But like I said, Glamour Doll Eyes doesn't sell these anymore. I checked. Um, but just in case, this one is called Swiftly. And it's black with red glitter. And I just patted that all the way up uh, into the crease. Um... Then, during the holidays, <clears throat> Jessie's Girl made two, um, I, I think they only come out during the holidays. Um, it's, one is called Flamboyant, and it's a bright red, and then one is called Snowflake. And just work it into the, the, um, into the contour area. A little of this goes a long way, so I don't want to take too much. As people say, you can always add. It's harder to <laughs> to fix when there's too much, but it's easy to add. So, okay. usual I do all my cleanup later and since that took off some of the black just gonna add some more 
of the black. I just want to like blend it in. Just a little bit of blending going on there. Where you'll still be able to see the red beneath the black. There, that's better. Then just take the um, the snow flake color from Jessie's Girl. Just take a little bit of that. And just put that as the highlight. Right in the highlight. She describes Arrow, her first impression of Arrow was his chalky white skin, his jet black hair, and of course, their red eyes. Let's just try it. There you go. It's a little better. And of course, you just, you know, blend whatever's taken away. Just add. I will put my fake lashes on and come back. Hey everyone, so this is my eyes. And because um, they are inspired by Double Turo over Turi, I decided to go with red lips. And I'm using this gorgeous uh, it's the Revlon Max, really red. And for the cheeks, since they're pale, I usually just put a little bit of this um, pinch me. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this gel and put it in the cheekbone. as opposed to directly on the cheek. You can stop there if you want. And of course, you're just going to wear this. I mean, if you just feel like just being, you know, getting into the a theme of the movie and you want to go to the movies like this. Or they, she said they sparkle like diamonds too. Spray my face a little bit. So you can just put the sparkles in the cheek area or you can be crazy like me and just put it all over. And like I did the last time, if you really want to give it a little bit of a vampire-y effect, you can use the, um, this is called Just Bitten from Revlon. And Revlon doesn't make this anymore, but they do have um, the Volturi makeup, or Volturo makeup. <laughs> um, I believe they have it at Ulta, they have it at Sephora, um, I think Nordstrom, some places online sell them, and they sell this. So you can leave it like that, or you can just put a little bit of uh, this on the edges of your lips because the effect that it gives to me it just looks like someone whose lips are bleeding someone maybe who just drank blood that's it so yeah that's my Voltaire inspired look so you can wear this on Wednesday at the opening of the movie. I believe they're showing a midnight showing on Wednesday or Thursday night when it comes out. I'm probably going um, next weekend.